Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, the Anglers. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started Ladies with the introductions, here's Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. striker at this guy's level that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has it's very tricky when he throws that body kick and he connects there with a punch so pretty good striking display by a muscle he throws everything so straight and so accurate Nice counter left hook. Come on. High kick is there. It's there. Go. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the film. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, he'll change his stance. Looping left hand misses the target. Powerful leg kick lands. He's able to slip the left there. I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, nice jab. Oh, nice. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. There's no give on that leg kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Big kick land. Just out of the range with that right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Single collar tie now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice straight punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, nice head kick. Lands the knee to the body now. Plus right hand is true. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick, that's a miss. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. a straight punch and land, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ten seconds now in round one. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they called the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. 
Oh, he might be out. Missed with that attempt. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left hook there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land the strike. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back to the jab now, no good. Oh man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Punch over the top. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Visibly limping here. Switching stances here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Whiffs on that offer. Ten seconds remain in round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, 
pretty good back and forth action in the previous right. two rounds. Your right. expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Beautiful punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Blocks that kick to the body. Counters with the right hand. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Big kick lands. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Over and over, he lands with a big body kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Nice kick. Right punches there. Massive head kick. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. That was a thudding leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too. If you start reaching on to catch that kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Wow, huge head kick. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. And 
he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Throws the right hand there. Nice strike. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, man, this is one thing you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. He's got the turnover in that kick. Rips the body there. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, wow! Head kick! about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee of the body, it could in the night. Don't back up, push forward. Under three minutes remain in round four. Big kick land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Flips the punch. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Big body kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Nice, nice. defense there, huge block. Ooh, big shot land. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big leg kick land. Nice jab by Lee. Ninety seconds to go now. Beautiful kick. Able to check the high kick. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Final minute now of round four. Straight punch lands. Massive head kick. Oh. 
Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Right hand upstairs. Just misses with a left hook there. That was yeah, nice. Right hand upstairs. Final seconds here. Unable to connect there. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt fast. He's hurt bad times. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big punch land. Ooh. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done it! He's done it! Oh, big left! Right hand just misses. Nice punch lands over the top. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. That's a big strike right there. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Dig and kick. How about that shin? It's such a fast leg kick. Great punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, he caught the kick. Back and forth we go here. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Let's go. Seven, Good punch. Beautiful body kick. Take down now. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Body kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh man, head kick lands. Big leg kick land. Beautiful strike. 
Single collar tie now. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Right on the button. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Lands with the right hand. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. So a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.